Hi everyone, I am Balaji Chipada and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In continuation of our SQL series, in this video, we will learn about cross join. We will learn about why this is useful and how it will work and what are the real world use cases and what are its limitations in this video. And without any delay, let's get started. Now let's assume I have two different tables called customers table and products table and each of them are having three records. I have taken some dummy data. This is not a real world data. This is just to explain how cross join works internally. And in the first table, I have three columns, customer ID, name and city. And the second table, I have three columns, which is product ID, product name and price. And the data is like this. And in the previous videos, we have learned about how we can do inner join left join right join and full outer join right and in all of these if you remember the syntax how we will do we will say select star from t1 join t2 and you will give a condition on t1.c1 equal to t2.c4 i'm just taking some example here but the mandatory thing is you are providing a condition on which you want to do the join if you talk about these two tables i could see that customer id column and product id column are having similar kind of data so maybe if i want to do left join or right join i can join on these two different columns that is fine and well and good but is there any other join in which we don't care about these two but i want to do a merging of these two tables yes that is where cross join comes into picture so before understanding what is cross join let's understand the syntax of cross join i am doing select i am selecting all the columns from both of these tables instead of this i can do select star as well it's up to you what you want to do from my customers table which is my table one i'm giving a alias as c and i'm doing a cross join cross join is a keyword you can directly use it inside sql and i'm doing it on products and i'm giving a alias name as p and notice that i don't have any on condition here because what cross join does is it will literally do the multiplication of both of these tables let me explain what multiplication means so let's take the first record from the first table which is one alice and london even if it finds a match or if it doesn't find a match it is going to match with every other record from the table two so i have my first record from table one along with it i have the three different records from table two it, it is just taking about all possible combinations for every record from table one to every record in table two and once it is done it will go to the next record which is of record two from table one and it is going to match with every other record inside your table two and then once it is done it will go to the record three from table one and it is going to match with every other record from table two no matter what whether this is matching or not it doesn't care in cross join it is just finding out all the possible combinations from these two tables so if i have to talk about the output uh, so in the first time i have one alice and london here consider this is one alice london and here this is my data which is of one t-shirt and ten dollars i will have this and then in the next record because there are three possible combinations to each record in table one i am going to replicate my table one first record which is the one alice london and then the second record from table two will be present so this will be this and this will be this but this record is the first record from both of these tables and then we have the second third record and this will be this one so for every record in table one you are going to match it with every other record in table two that is what cross join does so if i have to calculate total number of records i will get an output it is total number of records multiplied for both of these tables i have three records from table one three records from table two so three cross three which is nine records that i will get as a output for cross join if i do cross join on these two tables hopefully everything is clear and it is very computationally costly right because you are finding for every record to every other record in other table so it is not always ideal to use cross joins wherever it is applicable try to use other types of joins as well and i will just repeat my syntax once again select i am selecting whatever columns i want from my customer table and i am doing a cross join on product table p and there is no need of providing on you can try to give where condition but these are all applicable guys once you do the join whatever we have learned in the previous videos where limit having group by offset you can use whatever you want after this join has been done and that is absolutely right but you 
but right now i'm not talking about these things but we will also see this use cases where you will apply all of this together guys in the later videos if i have to show you the output this is what my output looks like if you see this is the first record from my table one and i'm duplicating it three times because i have three different records in table two corresponding to the table first record of table one and then once it is done i have the second record from table one i have three different records from table two to match it with and i get this and then i have the third record from table one and all the three different records from table two so all of these are from table one all of these are from table two and if you count the total number of records these are nine records because table one is having three records table two is having three records and output of these two would be the multiplication of this one so that is what this first point is and second point is basically cross join is basically generating all the possible combinations for every record in two different tables and you need to be very careful while using cross joins because it is very costly costly in the sense it is very inefficient if the data size is too large and if there is a requirement in which it is needed to do a cross join try for other alternatives first check check if we can achieve the same output using left join or right join or inner joins if it is not then resort to cross join and if it is achievable with other joins it is always recommended to use normal joins rather than cross join hopefully that is clear now we will go to the sql workbench and understand this output clearly by executing the same example so here i am creating the table called customers table we will learn about how to create tables in the later videos very soon just hang on a little bit and i am creating a new table it got executed and inside this i am adding some data we will also learn how to add data in the tables as well and then i am creating a, another table called products table and then i am adding data inside the products table as well and now if I refresh the table schema here, I have, let me check uh, customers table and then I have products table. I got the new two different tables inside my IMDB data set itself because I'm using IMDB at the start. Uh, but let's understand how you can do a cross join. So what I'm doing is select C dot customer ID, C dot name, C dot city, C dot product ID, product name, price from customers cross join P. So if I execute this, I get the output like this. If you see, I get the same output as I explained before. I get three records. If you look at this one, I have one Alice, one Alice and one Alice. These are not sorted by anything. That is why you are seeing at different, different positions, but you can sort it depending on how you want. And then you have two Bob, two Bob and two Bob. And you have three Charlie, three Charlie and three Charlie. So total number of records are nine, which is three into three. And we achieved a cross join on top of these two tables. Hopefully that is clear. And if you have any queries so far in the session, please let me know in the comment section below and I will reply to each and every one of you separately. And that's all for this video, guys. We have learned what is a cross join and how it is different from the other joins that we learned like inner join, left join, right join and full outer join. And we have also understood how it will work internally and how to execute that inside your SQL workbench as well. If you learned something new from this video, please hit the subscribe button and click that bell icon to get notified daily. And we will meet in the next video. Bye-bye.